Are you ever tired? I know that's a ridiculous question. Of course you're tired. Part of being an adult, part of living life here now in our present day and age, it's being tired, or at least it seems like that's a normal part of life. And I think there are lots of reasons that we struggle with exhaustion and tiredness and weariness and not getting enough good sleep and not going on vacation and coming back and actually feeling rested. And I'll save those for a sermon series at another time. But I was reading in my Bible this morning, and I'm working through Isaiah right now. And I came across this verse from Isaiah, 20, uh, of Isaiah 40, and I just wanted to share it with you and share some thoughts on it. So uh, Isaiah 40, 28 says this. It says, do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And I want us to see kind of the movements in this verse, because I think that was what was really encouraging to me, right? Like, Isaiah first doesn't say, hey, look, I know you're tired, right? He doesn't say, hey, you can do it. Hey, you're a champion. I'm rooting for you. You're going to do great. Keep your head up. Keep breathing. He doesn't do that. He goes, look, we know this is hard, right? Who can know? Who can understand? Who has all of the answers in the world? Not you, not me, but God. God has the answers to the questions that we are facing in life, and he doesn't grow tired. He doesn't grow weary. He is the one who remains steadfast no matter what is going on in our lives or in our world. And it is then, only then, that Isaiah then turns to us. He says, look, focus on God, remember who God is first, and then remember what God does for you God brings you strength. God brings you energy. God shows up in your life and he does something incredible. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't always believe that last part of what Isaiah is saying because I don't always see that in my life. Sometimes I don't feel like turning to God brings me strength or wisdom, or turns me from weariness, right? Sometimes I just feel weak. And I think it's especially in those moments that we have to remember the first part of this verse, right? God is who God is, and God loves us. God is transforming us even when we are weak. Even when it doesn't feel like anything is happening. Even when we look at our calendar and we look at our bank account and we look at what is going on in our relationships and things seem like crap and there's too much busyness and there's not enough money, those are the moments that God is still who he says he is, that God is not weary, that God is in control. And it's those moments that it's important for us to look back at the first part of that verse and to remember, hey, it's not my wisdom. It's not my strength. God is not just God when I feel like he's God. God is God all the time. And so as you prepare your hearts for worship this morning, as you get ready to engage and encounter the God of the universe through worship, and through uh, a message and through communion and through community, remember, you're, you might be tired, and that's okay, because we are here to worship and serve a God who does not grow weary and who is always there for us, no matter how tired we are.